All right, well, good Saturday morning, everybody. Now, I'm going to tell you all a little story uh, before we go in to eat lunch here today. We are in Boone, North Carolina. Now, uh, our anniversary was last month, and uh, before our anniversary, she had asked me, she said, can we go out to one of those places where they make the food right there in front of you? And I'm, you know, being the good husband that I am, I said, well, sure, if that's what you like. And I mean, honestly, she was happy that whole week in a good mood. And uh, she reminded me the night I was getting ready to go out. She says, now we're going to one of those restaurants where they make the food right in front of you. I said, absolutely. That's what I promised you. That's what I'm going to do. I've never seen a mood change so quick when we pulled into Subway. I mean, honestly, it turned on a dime. So a couple of broken bones and uh, three days of silence later, I learned what she really meant. So we're going to make up for that today. We are here in Boone, North Carolina at the Makoto's Japanese Steakhouse. So... This is one of those where the guys come out and they flip the food around. They cook it right in front of you. So, I uh, hope I got it right this time. Yeah, I think you've got it right so, this time. Anyway. Yeah, we well, had to wait a little bit for him to heal up from all this. Yeah, I, I, can, I can walk again now. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we are here at Makoto's. Some people say Makado's. The way it's spelled, it looks like Makoto's to me. So, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, we've not been here in probably 15 years, I'm going to guess. Uh, we used to come quite a bit, but... Uh, we're going to go back today and hopefully bring you a good review of a place that uh, we've been looking forward to coming back to for a while, so go with us. show you what it looks like out here in the front and I wore shorts today and got up here to Boone and wish I hadn't it's probably I don't know 58 60 degrees up here <laughs> so walk over here and I'm going to show you the hours this place has been here for as long as I can remember and we are here for lunch today so I'm trying to remember if we've even been here since 2005. Maybe a little bit later than that, but it's been a while. So they seated us here in the back section. We may be sharing the table with others. We're going to have to sit and wait a few minutes, but all of the tables are pretty big. So we're actually in the back and um, look outside there and there's a little garden. I'm going to walk around and walk through the restaurant just to give you a quick view through here. Uh, what the setup is and it smells really really good in here and another side room there so I'm just gonna try to make a quick circle around
Okay, so they bring that. What do you, you know what this is? It's some kind of soup, I guess. Sipping soup. Sip, what is it? I think sipping. Sip. Sipping soup. Okay. So Shaughnessy is going to sip the sippy soup. Looks very hot. It's very hot. It's like broth, but it's good. Okay. It is. It is hot, and it's good. It actually has an oniony flavor, which I don't mind the flavor. There's no onions in it, so I'm happy with that. And that's kind of what it reminds me of, like a, an onion. Yeah. Chicken broth, kind of like. Yeah. We'll start off by checking your orders. So you got the chicken delicate shrimp. Yeah. Oh, you switch places. Chicken delicate shrimp. You got the ten-ounce steak meat. Yeah, teriyaki. Yes. yes, sir. your salads with the uh, ginger sauce on it. How do you like that? I like it. I got it with the um, um, shrimp sauce. So what did you order? I don't know if we told them. 
Let me back. Let me back it up. All right, go ahead. Chicken and shrimp. And I got teriyaki steak. So there it comes. portion of teriyaki steak and no, I didn't get shrimp I got teriyaki steak that is quite a portion for, for the money and you um, that's just mushroom he's still got some more mushrooms yeah there's still a little bit of mushroom and chicken on the grill there so how do you like it so far good good all right well I just started these young ladies want to be in our videos so yeah, we're yeah. happy to put them in it so tell Hello. us who you are and where you're from my name's Libby. I'm from Greensboro. I'm a server here at Makoto's. I've been working here for about a year. Okay, and you are? I'm Lila. Um, I'm from Charlotte, and I started working here about a month ago, and I'm a hostess. Are y'all App State students? Yes, yes we okay. are. Okay, all right. So, yeah. how do you like it here? I love it. The love sushi's food. the best part, in my yeah. opinion. Okay. I agree. Yeah. I, just, I still haven't tried the filet, but I really want to. So is this, have you been on YouTube before or is this your debut? This is our I'm debut. All right. Yeah. So by tonight or tomorrow, you're going to be on YouTube. Okay. So we'll give you a card. Thank yes. you. Give me right. both a card. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all. Thank okay. Well, we've just finished up our lunch here at Makoto's in Boone, North Carolina. Just up the mountain from where we live. Um, we were up here two weeks ago, did some things at Grandfather Mountain and ate at another restaurant here in Boone. So we've been wanting to feature this place in a video for a long time been a long time since we've been here I'm not really sure why because uh, I thought it was a pretty amazing experience yes. today so uh, why don't you start us off and tell us what you had and uh, what you thought of it I've always enjoyed it I love it when they cook the food in front of you um, our chef today he did an excellent job he said he's been doing it about a year yep. um, he's actually a student up here as well he's from what Greensboro, I Greensboro. did excellent he did all the little tricks and stuff with the forks and the spatulas and stuff food was excellent um i have a blackstone at home and i told Derek while we were eating i said why doesn't my food ever taste like this so i was trying to watch him prepare um, but i had the chicken and shrimp it was excellent um fried rice they gave you a ton of that carrots were delicious the salad i did get the mikado ginger dressing i thought it was really good um just a lot of food. It was really good. Everybody was so nice in there. Took great mm. care of us. And I was pretty excited. <clears throat> we were by ourselves, so we had the whole table yeah. to ourselves. So, I mean, it'd be nice if we had friends or family with you, but right. you know, it was nice. So I had an excellent time. We, would you do it again? Yes, I plan to. Okay. Yeah, um, we, like I say, it's been a while since we've been up here. I got the teriyaki steak. I just want to say that one of the things I voiced coming up here was since we were coming for lunch, um, I was kind of concerned that the lunch portions would be small. Uh, 
put that concern to rest. They are not small. We are both leaving here with boxes today. Yeah, only I couldn't time. finish mine, and it was excellent. Uh, uh, that was a mammoth portion of rice, um, ten ounce portion of the ribeye steak, uh, plus the mushrooms and the carrots. And I want to say a word about carrots. I am not a carrot lover, um, but if all carrots tasted like Japanese restaurant carrots, I'd eat them every day. I wish you knew uh, how to make them. Like I wish that. you knew how to make them like that too. Uh, maybe we, maybe we can figure that out. But uh, I mean, I can eat carrots and beef stew okay. I just not a carrot eater, but I, I love those that they had here today. They're sweet, and um, I guess they're called candy carrots or something. I'm, uh, but I really would love to know how to, to make those. So everything was great, uh, absolutely great experience. I was also concerned. I knew how the tables were set up. That they seat a lot of people at one table. I was a little nervous about if we were going to be able to do a video because if you're seated with strangers, you you don't never know if they're going to be comfortable with you recording or not. You want to be respectful. But as it worked out, she told us when she sat us down, she said, wait about 10, 15 minutes. She said, if nobody comes, we'll close the table off and it'll just be you guys. Well, nobody came, so. We came at the end of lunch, too. So they close apparently, what time is it? They close at 2 and I guess reopen. For was, supper at 5. So yeah. we came, what was a little before 1, so I guess just the crowd had been through so it just yeah, worked, but it worked out, out we had the table to ourselves so we were able to record uh so uh, and again i would have asked just to been respectful of other people but you can be seated with strangers but so i would recommend you come maybe bring bring a group with you if you're not comfortable with that because it can happen it has happened here with us the last time i think we were here it happened and yeah. it's it's okay you get to meet new people but um then at the end uh well actually the uh one of the little ladies at the end that was in our video she came up and said to the back she goes can I ask why you're recording? I said, yeah, you too. She goes, that's what we thought. They, they apparently had been talking. So I said, would you like to be in the video? She got very excited and she was very glad to be in it. Yeah, she said, I want to get my friend. And I think her friend was from Greensboro and she was from Charlotte. So um, I'm always happy if somebody wants to be in our video, I'm always happy to put them in it. And they seem very, very happy about it. So uh, glad to include them as well. Overall, great experience. I would definitely come back. The, the, uh, basically, I'm getting two meals for the price of one because what I'm leaving or with to get the box, it's going to be enough for lunch tomorrow. Yes. So, overall, great experience. I'm glad we came up here today and did this. Me too, and it's a little chilly with the wind. Yeah, this is Boone. <laughs> I, I don't know why I put shorts on at the house. I never remember subtract 10 or 12 degrees for Boone. So, anyway, the wind's blowing. It's probably, if it's 60 degrees, I'm surprised. So, anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And, find it and follow us on Facebook. And have a wonderful and blessed day.